welcome back. For today's story, we will be listening to The Three Little Pigs. It was written and illustrated by Paul Gadone. Let's see what this story is going to be about. Let's open it to the first page. Once upon a time, there was an old sow with three little pigs. She had no money to keep them, so she sent them off to seek their fortune. Oh, I wonder where they're going to go. The first little pig met a man with a bundle of straw and said to him, Please, man, give me that straw to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with it. Ooh, he used the straw to build his house. Hmm, I wonder what happens. Along came a wolf. He knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 said the little pig. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Oh, oh. So the wolf huffed and he puffed. And he blew the house in. <gasps> and he ate up the first little pig. Oh no, the little pig. The second little pig met a man with a bundle of sticks and said, Please, man, give me those sticks to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with them. <gasps> I wonder if this one is stronger than the last one. It was made out of straw. Then along came the wolf and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. <gasps> uh oh. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed. And he puffed, and at last he blew the house in, and he ate up the second little pig. <gasps> oh, poor little piggy. Oh, it wasn't strong enough. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks and said, Please, man, give me those bricks to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with them. <gasps> I think this one might be strong. Soon the same wolf came along and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. <gasps> oh, oh, does he look scared? I think so. Well, he huffed and he puffed. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. <gasps> he could not blow the house in. Why not? It was a strong house. At last, the wolf stopped huffing and puffing and said, Little pig, I know where there is a nice field of turnips. Where, said the little pig, on Mr. Smith's farm, said the wolf. I will come for you tomorrow morning. We will go together and get some turnips for dinner. Very well, said the little pig. What time will you come? Oh, at six o'clock, said the wolf. I don't think he's telling the truth. I think he's tricking him. Well, the little pig got up at five. He went to Mr. Smith's farm. He got the turnips before the wolf came to his house. Little pig, are you ready? Asked the wolf. The little pig said, ready. I've been. I have been and come back again, and I got a nice pot full of turnips for my dinner. Ooh, he's already boiling them. The wolf was very angry, but then he thought of another way to get the little pig, so he said, Little pig, I know where there is a nice apple tree. Where, said the pig, down at Merry Garden, replied the wolf. I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow morning. And we will get some apples. Hmm, look at his face. I think he's tricking him. Well, the little pig got up the next morning at four o'clock and went off to the apples. He wanted to get back home before the wolf came.
But it was long way to Merry Garden, and then he had to climb the tree. Just as he was climbing back down <gasps> with his basket full of apples, he saw the wolf coming. Little pig, said the wolf, you got here before me. Are the apples nice? Yes, very, said the little pig. I will throw one down to you. And he threw the apple as far as he could throw, while the wolf ran to pick it up. The little pig jumped down and ran home. The next day, the wolf came again and said to the little pig, Little pig, there is a fair at Shanklin this afternoon. Would you like to go? Oh, yes, said the little pig. When will you come to get me? At three, said the wolf. Well, the little pig went off at two o'clock and bought a butter churn at the fair. He was going home with it when he saw the wolf coming. The little pig jumped into the butter churn to hide. Then the churn fell over and rolled down the hill with the little pig in it. This frightened the wolf so much that he turned around and ran home. Later, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told him what had happened. A great round thing came rolling down the hill right at me, said the wolf. Ha, 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 ha. I frightened you then, said the little pig. I went to the fair and bought a butter churn. When I saw you, I got in it and rolled down the hill. The wolf was very angry indeed. I'm coming to climb down your chimney to eat you up, he said. When the little pig heard the wolf on the roof, he hung a pot full of water in the fireplace. Then he built a blazing fire. Just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little pig took the cover off the pot and the wolf fell in. The little pig quickly put the cover on it and boiled the wolf and ate him up for supper. <gasps> oh my goodness. And the little pig lived happily ever after. Oh, he was smarter than the wolf. The end. Thank you.